when businesses across America closed, grocery stores did not, putting workers in compromising positions and at a higher risk of contracting COVID-19. Today, our estimates show that at least 68 grocery workers in companies that we represent have died. Over 10,000 have become sick or exposed to COVID-19. According to Mark Perrone, international president of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union, major companies like Walmart, Amazon and Whole Foods haven't released exact numbers on how many of their employees have been affected by the virus. And some of these same companies have announced the end of hero or hazard pay. It's simply not right that we're asking America's grocery workers to work to protect our food supply and then take a pay cut. But when they initially announced that they were going to take away that hero pay, I began to feel a little less appreciated as they claimed that they were. When it comes to staff safety, a Kroger employee in Lansing, Michigan, talked about her experience with a customer who refused to follow the policy of wearing a mask. I said, well, sir, it's kind of a mandated order and it's Kroger policy. He says, it's not a law and I'm not gonna wear a mask. I said, come on, sir, it's for my help, not yours, it's just a mask. And he turned and looked at me and said, I don't give a damn about your help. Perone says they will soon launch a campaign so consumers know which grocery store chains are protecting their workers and consumers and which ones are not. Carrie Grace, WLKY News.